Hello, back in the office in my inventory room. And today, the day I'm filming, it is Monday and we have some shipping to do. So it's Monday afternoon. I've got measurements and shipping. I've got 21 things to pull. So let's get to shipping. I've had a fairly successful sales weekend, but actually I've had a really good sales day today, Monday. February 26th. Today is Matt and I's 13 year anniversary of dating. We're not married, but maybe one day. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to pull this stuff and then we are going to do our shipping together or do my shipping together. Maybe you have some shipping too. You know, we're getting to the end of February, so I'm starting to get a sense of what my sales are gonna look like. I'm actually, because I had a good sales day today, actually on track to hit my goal that I previously set at 5,500 per month. So that's good because February was not looking so great for a while. But man, Mercari sales. I had like 700 something last month and this month it's not even half that. So I don't know what happened to Mercari, but eBay sales, on the other hand, this might be my first month where my eBay sales surpass my Poshmark sales. First month ever in my reselling career. That's massive. So if that happens, it might start a whole new era in my life. <laughs> I might just become an eBay seller. I'm still actually, I still have more sales on Poshmark than Mercari. I mean, than eBay, sorry, but not by much. G80. A lot of y'all ask, like, how does my inventory system work? I did an inventory video a long time ago. But basically, I have five bins per letter, A through R, and each bin holds 20 items. So I have 100 items per letter. So, like, for instance, this is C01 to C20, C21 to C40, etc. And then I have bags that I reuse that have a number. And so. And then I, that's my skew. So I know to go to that bin and then I have to search through those 20 items. But if I sell something that I've listed recently, it's usually just right on top, which makes it easy. And then also having clear pin, bins helps too. I also have it so that I have two actually different size bags per bin. I have, this is my regular size and then this is my larger size. And I have four of these larger ones per bin. And the first four, so like I-20 through I-24, are larger bags, which also helps me kind of identify what the item might be. Because if it's in a larger bag, then I know to look for a large item. I have a lot of measurement requests because I have been bad about doing it again. So I need to take the time today to make sure I do it. I feel really bad about one in particular because I completely forgot about it. I, I literally told the woman, oh, I'll get it to you tomorrow, and then completely forgot. <laughs> so that's not good. All right, let's head over here. All right, I'll meet you at the shipping table. Okay, so today I am shipping out uh, about almost $700 in sales, $694. So that's good, good way to end February. It's no thanks to Mercari, <laughs> like I mentioned, but I did have one Mercari sale, so we'll start with that. It was this Hannah Anderson sweatshirt. I actually was planning on keeping this or taking it to maternity consignment, but I just decided to go ahead and list it. And actually, I did that with another item, a Columbia kids coat. Both of them sold on Mercari, not for a lot, but I don't know how I feel like it. Kids stuff is just so low price. You really have to have good systems because you have to list a lot in order to make it work. But there's definitely demand for kid stuff on the secondhand marketplace. So anyway, this is a Hannah Anderson hoodie. It's like a kid's 14 to 16. It had it listed for 20 and it sold for 20. So that's good. And luckily this buyer is in Seattle. So shipping's not insane. 
So I, my gross profit on it was $9.17. I got it at the bins for $1.94, spending $5.81 on USPS ground. Okay, printer having some difficulties, but I reset it and it's fine. Okay, right, well that's Mercari for you. <laughs> that was my Mercari sale of the weekend. It's a good thing I don't rely too heavily on Mercari. But yeah, let's see. I had $730.14 of sales on Mercari last month and then I had $332.92. I think I went the fir whole first week of February without a sale so I did have like a couple good sale I mean you know I don't regret listing on Mercari but it's definitely not performing that well for me this month okay so what do we want to do next I think we actually might do Poshmark next because I had not a ton of sales on Poshmark which was disappointing like I didn't have any yesterday but then today I've had a couple good ones okay let's print these off my first sale of the weekend is actually a good one and it's one that it was the thumbnail of my thrift with me it was this nike sakai i don't know if that's the, how you pronounce it collaboration pair of shorts i had listed it for 200 but i wasn't really receiving any bites on it or like yeah no offers or anything so i was thinking okay that's it's probably I probably overpriced it so and it was taking a little while to sell i have had it for well 89 days not too bad but i received an offer for 100 which is 50 percent off but i probably would have repriced it at like 150 or 160 and so when i got that offer and my sales were slow on poshmark like i mentioned i accepted it and i was very happy to accept it Okay, and then this I had tons of interest on all platforms. The Figs Seamless Long Sleeve Top. I actually had an offer on Mercari for a little bit more than this, but because I was gonna have to pay for shipping on Mercari, it made more sense to accept the Poshmark offer. But it's this Figs Seamless Top, and this apparently is a popular style by Figs. Sold super fast. I had it listed for 38. I received an offer. Well, actually, I was going back and forth with this buyer on Poshmark, and they sent an offer for 26, which I ended up accepting. And oh, I didn't tell you my last one. That gave me a gross profit of $13.81, but it took two days to sell. The Nike shorts gave me a profit of $70.01 because I got it at Goodwill for $9.99 took 89 days to sell even though you know I only profited what 1381 it's still a really good sale two days very easy to list I love figs is just bread and butter for me and certain pieces do better than others but yeah a lot of interest this was an experiment I actually thought when I picked this up I thought this was a men's shirt but I should have known I, because of the way the buttons were for women's button downs it's on one side and then for, whoa Ooh, good thing I sell clothes and not breakable goods. For women's button downs, the buttons are on one side and then men's the buttons are on the other side. But I don't have it memorized which is which. So, but anyways, when I entered the style name, I realized this is actually a women's Tommy Bahama linen button down shirt. It's called the Sea Glass Breezer Boyfriend Shirt. Size extra large. I had it listed, I think, for... Did I have it listed for 38 or 35? 35. And I received an offer for 23, which I thought about countering. I think I probably could have got at least 25 for it. But, no. I'm in my era of accepting offers. So, I went ahead and accepted it. That gave me a profit of $16.46, and it took five days to sell. So, sold really fast. I'll definitely be experimenting with more linen Tommy Bahama pieces. Next is a dress I think I've had a while. Let's see how long have I had this. 146 days, so not bad. This is a brand I had previously like recommended as a good bread and butter brand. But I've noticed, and it's still a pretty good one. Like I would definitely pick it up at the bins. 
but I've noticed it's taking a little bit longer to sell. So I don't really pick it up at a regular Goodwill anymore. But our Goodwill's price things up so high. So if you live somewhere where your Goodwill's still pricing things reasonably, it might be worth it. But anyway, it's Aster the Label dress. Really, really beautiful, floral, lavender purple, satin dress. I had it listed for 50, I received an offer for 35, which I accepted. That gave me a profit. I bought it half off at Goodwill, so that's good. Maybe I would do that again. Spent $3.99 on it at Goodwill, so that gave me a profit of $24, which is good. And 146 days isn't too bad, but that is a really, really cute dress. Okay, so that, <laughs> that was my last sale on, Mercari, uh, on Poshmark this weekend. And it happened on Saturday. And like I said, I didn't have any sales on Sunday, which was wild. But I had two formal wear sales today. So that makes me happy because I like to be moving this formal wear. The first was a JS Collections dress. I got this through Liquidation. Size 8. It's a panel shift dress. It's knee length, which is typically a little bit harder to sell than like a formal gown. And then my last sale that I'm shipping out was a sale today and it was a new with tags JJ's house gown that I actually got at the bins. Actually my friend Steven found it at the bins a while ago and was nice enough to give it to me because he didn't want to deal with it. <laughs> And a lot of people don't want to deal with formal wear, which I understand. But that was uh, 235 days ago, so my cost of goods was only $1.44. I had it listed at $100, and I received an offer today for $65, which I just went ahead and accepted because I've had it a little while. And that's a pretty good price for this. So um, that gave me a gross profit of $50.56, which is great. And that is why I love formal wear. I think, you know, spring weddings are definitely coming up. People are starting to buy their outfits. So starting to see that reflected in the sales, which is good. I was supposed to go to my cousin's wedding this month, but I am 35 weeks pregnant today, so no traveling. <laughs> I will not be traveling this month or for a while. Oh my gosh, I'm so mentally underprepared for this transition. You're never really ready until you get there. Okie dokie, that is Poshmark. Most of my sales though this weekend got eight on eBay. Okay, my camera died, but we're back and we're gonna do eBay sales. I pre-weighed everything while I was letting the camera cool down and we're in business. So, first sale that I'm shipping out on eBay is a pair of new with tag commander shorts in this camo color size six. This was a an item that I found during my inventory audit that was not listed. So I got it listed, I believe. Let me double check that. So I had it listed for 40. I received an offer on eBay for 28 plus shipping and I accepted it. This was an item from people palette I got like two years ago. So my cost of goods was $11.34 per piece on that palette. So my gross profit because my cost of goods is so high was $9.11 but we will take it. Next up we have got a Athleta swimsuit top and I got this at the bins for $1.95 very happy that it sold. I had this listed for 25 and I sent out a 30% off offer to Liker on eBay for $17.50 plus shipping. Someone accepted that offer to Liker or offered a watcher. My gross profit was therefore $11.34. Took 137 days to sell, so not too bad. I used my free eBay mailers that I got. When you have a store subscription, you get a certain amount of credits and in their packaging store or whatever. So I, that's what I chose to get this time around. We've got, oh, this was in a throw with me a while ago, I think like this past summer. It's a new tag, Faithful, the brand dress. Did actually end up having a flaw. I did pay up for this. The hook eye closure or the loop for the button or something like that is broken. So I did disclose that, but it is new with tags. It is a really cute style. I paid $19.99 for it. So I had it priced as I did spend some money on it. And I had it priced at 90 
And then I received an offer for 65 plus shipping, which I accepted. And I made a profit of $30.96, so good sale. And it took 138 days to sell. So I listed it about the same time as that Athleta swimsuit, which was probably like at the end of summer or something like that and went all winter without selling, which is understandable, but it did end up selling now that we're entering spring. Next up, we have got this new Nick and Zoe sweater. This actually sold to a YouTube subscriber, which is so nice. I wonder how do I message? I'm sure I can message the buyer. They just left me like a note. So I'll have to figure out how I need to message them. But anyway, if you are watching, <laughs> thank you so much for your purchase. Hopefully I can figure out how to thank you. And this is a Nick and Zoe sweater that I got through liquidation, new without tags. Got it a while ago. I had recently reduced the price to 40 and they sent me an offer for 25, which I accepted. I think that's right. Yeah, 25 plus shipping. So my gross profit was $16.05 took 891 days to sell though so did have it a while but it was a good sale ended up being one and it's going to a viewer which is so cool okay and then what is our next sale oh <laughs> so I sold these pants on eBay last month. They're this brand. I got it at the bins. I never heard of this brand. Pa de Calais. Yeah, it's French. Pa de Calais, I guess. Sold. They sold full price the first time around, which was cool. But then they got a return. Just didn't end up fitting or something. So I just, I am so backlogged on returns. When you process a return on eBay, it's like, do you want to relist for free? And I always just click yes, because I know I have the item. I just haven't, I hadn't relisted it anywhere else or inventoried it. It's just sitting in my box, return box. But I went ahead and relisted it on eBay and it sold on eBay, which was nice. Sold quickly. I mean, I, well, I list for 88 and someone sent me an offer for 40. And maybe because I didn't want to process the return. <laughs> I just went ahead and accepted it. So, but it sold pretty fast after three days of being relisted back on eBay and gave me a gross profit of $30.71. So, it's a good sale. I'm happy with it. Happy to get it back out the door because I was really disappointed when that return came through because it was a full price sale. I was really excited because I'd never heard of this brand before. It was kind of a, you know, gamble picking it up. Get your returns. Don't be like me. Get your returns relisted and because they've already been proven to sell once chances are someone out there wants to buy it too and then speaking of demand this took 826 days to sell it is a pair of frame tuxedo stripe jeans they're new without tag i got them through liquidation i had recently lowered the price to 35. i think i had these listed you know all over the board at different points probably started like at 80 or 90 or something. And then I received an offer for, oh no, no, no. I sent out 30% off offers and someone accepted 24.50 plus shipping, which gave me a gross profit of $15.85. And yeah, it took 826 days to sell. So very happy it's selling and I hope it doesn't come back. That's the thing with eBay. Because yeah, even if my eBay sales surpass Poshmark sales this month, in 30 days, that could easily not be the case because I get returns and on eBay that I definitely don't get on Poshmark. I'm still very happy and impressed with how my eBay sales are doing. Or maybe my Poshmark sales are just doing poorly. I don't know. Let me look at that. Well, it's a little bit of both. Probably do a little bit better on eBay this month, even though it's a shorter month. I mean, substantially worse on Poshmark. And then I had a sale of this J. Jill dress. That I recently listed and I got this at a regular Goodwill. I think I got it half off, which is kind of what I'm doing with J. Jill. Slowly trying it out by getting at the bins and getting it, you know, as cheap as I can. Seeing, trying to figure out for myself what sells. 
apparently this sold pretty well. I purchased it at Goodwill for $4.99. I had it listed for $38. I received an offer for, or no, someone accepted my 30% off offer for $26.60 plus shipping, which gave me a gross profit of $14.95. You know why? And it sold after nine days, sorry. You know why I think my Poshmark sales are down so much? It's because this month I changed my Posh or VA offers to likers from 30% to 20%. I've noticed, and I don't know if you've noticed, you know, I didn't have a single like offer to likers sale today or this weekend. And I think I need to switch it back. I think that is the result of my experiment. So I think March 1st, I will be switching it back to 30% off, which is good because my whole motto in March and probably April too, is just to, it's move it March. <laughs> Get things moving. We're not, we're not keeping things. We're not like, I was just talking to Matt about this. You know, the whole debate is, do you just move things quickly, but leave money on the table? Or do you wait for the right buyer for, and wait for the right price for items? But you know, things take a little bit longer to sell. I think I've historically been like over the pa past seven years of my recent career, done the latter, like waited for basically profit maximization via getting as much for an item as I can. But I'm in slowly moving more toward the former and I'm ready to go like all in on the former where I just move things and I just don't even think about it. Just keep it moving, keep it going. The problem is, which you know, Matt was quick to point out, you need to list a lot in order for that strategy to really work out. Your time is money essentially. Okay. Well, is this in a thrift with me or is this in a, no, this is in a haul too. I'm not gonna be able to remember which one. But this was a fun find. It, I got it at a regular Goodwill and I found it on a new rack and it's a bo men's bolo brand. Unreal, U-N-R-L. I knew it had a good sell through rate on eBay because I looked it up when I found it because I've never sold this brand before. This was a hoodie by this brand. I did pay up for this, but I was willing to do it because I knew it was gonna sell fast. My profit margin's not great, but that's okay. Cause it sold in four days, like I predicted. So my cost of goods was, so this was a Unreal hoodie, men's size medium. My cost of goods was $14.99. Found it on a new rack at Goodwill. Listed for 50. Someone sent me an offer for 30. I countered with 38.50, they accepted. That was this morning. And then after shipping my cost of goods, my eBay fees, my gross profit was $17.56. So I think it was still a very successful sale. Very happy with the result. I actually, my last sale on eBay was similar. I think it's from the same thrift trip. Yeah, it was. Same cost of goods. It was this good American denim jumpsuit. And I did find out by looking at stock photos and other people's listings that the fading on this jumpsuit is not intentional. It's from wash wear. So I priced a little bit lower because of that. I priced at 60. I think it's still, I think it's actually cuter with the like the faded black instead of the like dark, dark black. I like faded black denim. But anyways, it didn't stop it from selling quickly. So I, listed, I bought it for $14.99, I listed it for $60. I received an offer today for $45 plus shipping. And I need to enter my shipping cost because I wanna see if this, can I fit this in a padded flat rate mailer? If I can, then I will save on shipping. Okay, I couldn't fit it in a padded flat rate, but that's okay. Cause actually I had the measurements wrong. So it ended up being cheaper to just do ground advantage. So good, anyway, that means my gross profit was $21.98 and it sold after three days. So a very good sale, especially for good American selling that fast. Apparently there are pieces out there that are still in high demand that are good American, uh, but you definitely have to be selective. Okay, well, that is the ship with me. That is what sold over the weekend. Like I said, I had $694 in sales and my gross profit for what I shipped out today, because I actually had quite a few sales on Friday and I ship, did my shipping Friday afternoon. So, and typically I don't. So anyway, my gross profit for what I shipped out was $386.53. That is my revenue, my sales, minus my cost of goods, minus my shipping costs, and minus my platform fees. So happy, happy about those sales getting me you know, to my goal and uh, ending February on a pretty good foot. Let me know in the comments down below how your February 
is ending or has ended. I think this video might come out on March 1st. If it's coming out on March 1st, my next video will be a February sales recap. So I will get back to you with the conclusion of whether <laughs> eBay did triumph over at Poshmark after all. And we got a few more days left right now. Well, that is the video. Thanks so much for watching y'all. I hope I will see y'all in the next one. Okay, love y'all. Bye.